Got a 2009 Harley Davidson Softail here. I'm going to do an oil change. Uh, a couple things I should point out before I start. This is your oil tank. This is your oil tank fill cap. Uh, it just pulls off. Attached to the fill cap is your dipstick. This is where you'll add oil and this is also where you check your oil level. Um, attached to this tank is a hose that runs to the bottom of the bike. At the end of the hose is this drain plug. Um, it's actually the the hose attaches to the frame and the drain plug attaches to the frame and this is where you'll uh, uh, drain the oil. Then at the uh, the front of the engine is the uh, oil filter. A couple of things you should do before you change the engine oil and filter on this bike. Uh, first thing is to clean the bike or at least clean around the area where you'll be adding the oil. Um, that will prevent uh, dirt and debris from getting in the new oil that you add to the engine. Uh, another thing you should do is uh, start the bike and get it to operating temperature. Um, when you do that, the uh, dirt and debris in the engine is more likely to get suspended in the used oil and come out when you drain the oil. Uh, another re reason for uh, uh, warming up the bike before you change the oil, especially on this bike. Um, when this bike sits for long periods of time, say you, say you uh, stored the bike over the winter and you decided to change the oil before you take it out riding for the summer season, um, when this bike uh, sits for long periods of time, the oil tends to seep out and seep back into the engine. So when you change the oil, two things are going to happen. Um, one, not much oil is going to come out of the tank because it's seeped back into the engine. And number two, when you go to fill the oil to the proper level, you're going to end up overfilling the uh, oil system on this bike so the bike's going to have too much oil. Um, what will probably happen is when you go to start the bike and you accelerate um, this cap's going to pop off and oil's going to squirt out and just make a big mess and um, it can also cause other other problems so it's, it's real important to uh, not overfill the oil system and um, get the bike at, to operating temperature before you change the oil. First thing you want to do after you clean the bike or clean the area where you're working and get the bike warmed up is remove this filler cap. That way the oil, the oil will drain out easier. With the oil filler cap off, take a 5 8 socket, come down here to the drain plug and uh, remove it. Have your uh, drain pan nearby and drain the oil. With your uh, drain plug out, um, there's a little magnet on the end of this this drain plug. Uh, you want to check for any any metal on this on this magnet. If there's a small amount, it's not a big deal. If there's a large amount, um, you might want to consider talking to your mechanic. Could be a problem. Go ahead and clean that off. Um, there's an O-ring on this uh, drain plug. Uh, you want to check it for cracks or any sign of wear. Um, if you find that, you want to replace it. This, this O-ring actually looks like it's in good shape and I could probably reuse it without any problems, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and replace it because I have a new one. So I'm going to put the new one on. And it's ready to be reinstalled. Um, this is my oil filter I'm going to be using. It's a, it's a premium Harley-Davidson filter. Um, I recommend using this. In fact, Harley-Davidson recommends using this filter in their 96 um, uh, twin cam engine. Part number 63731-99A. And I'm also using genuine Harley-Davidson 2850 uh, motor oil. Once the oil is drained, you can go ahead and reinstall your drain plug. Um, you're going to want to tighten this up between 14 and 21 foot-pounds. Um, I'm going to tighten it to 17 foot-pounds. I'm going to take my torque wrench and torque it to 17 foot-pounds. And that's it for the drain plug. 
Now that I got the oil drained, I'm gonna, it's time to replace the oil filter. This is my oil filter. I'm gonna take that off. This is the tool I'm gonna be using it with a ratchet and extension. Um, Harley Davidson does build or sell a special uh, rubber like uh, kind of contraption funnel type thing that can catch this oil coming out of the filter. Um, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to do a really good cleanup job. Now that I got this old uh, filter out, I'm going to take my uh, my new filter. Going to get oil on the gasket area, the rubber gasket of the new filter. Make sure it's all over it, so it, when I put this on, it doesn't bind and it seals better. Also, I'm going to add. Before I put the filter on, I'm going to add some oil to the filter. Then I'm going to screw this on. I'm going to screw it on just until that rubber gasket touches the metal part of this um, oil filter mount here. Then I'm going to take my tool and adjust this or tighten this an additional three quarter to uh, one turn. Um, it's funny because this is the same oil filter that uh, I use on the uh, Harley Davidson Road Glide. And the manual for the Road Glide says to uh, tighten this filter one half to three quarter turn, but the manual for the soft tail uh, says to tighten it three quarters to one turn. So I'm going to go with three quarters of a turn. And that's it. Now that the oil's all drained out of this bike and the new filter is on, I can take the fill cap off and add oil to the oil tank. Um, when the bike is in its upright position like it is on the stand, uh, I find that two and a half quarts will bring the oil level up to the bottom of this fill tube where this weld mark is. That's plenty of oil to start the bike and um, get the bike to operating temperature. After you've got the bike at operating temperature, take it off the stand, um, get it on its jiffy stand, and uh, insert the, the fill cap all the way in, pull it out, and the oil level should be between the fill mark and the full hot mark. If you need to add oil, you can add oil here. If you've accidentally overfilled it, you can um, remove the drain plug and let some of the oil out and, and reinstall the drain plug. Um, after you get your level set, uh, take the bike out for a short ride, um, stop, turn it off, check for leaks around the uh, drain plug and uh, oil filter. Um, if there's no leaks, uh, no oil leaking and the oil level is at the right level, then you've got it, uh, you've got everything, you're good to go. Um, Harley Davidson recommends never putting more than three and a half quarts in this oil tank. Um, but like I said, with the bike in an upright position, uh, two and a half quarts, quarts seems to get the oil level up to that mark, and that's that's uh, that's where it should be to start this bike and get it at operating temperature. Um, but like I said, the the proper way to check the oil on this bike is with the engine at operating temperature, the bike on the jiffy stand, and you insert this this cap all the way in, pull it out, and then you can check the oil level on the dipstick. Um, but anyway. Uh, I don't think I forgot anything. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment in the in the comment section, and I'll try and answer it. And uh, thanks for watching.